question number four of permutation and combination worksheet part a a collection of 18 books contain one harry potter book linda is going to choose six of these books to take on holiday in how many ways can she choose six books so choose is selection and that's combination so this is a question on combination Choosing six books out of 18 available books. So that's going to be 18 C6, which gives us one eight five six four. Part two. In how many of these choices, uh, how many of these choices will include the Harry Potter book. So there are six spots available. One is taken by the Harry Potter book. And then, then we have remaining five spots available to be taken by 17 books. So that's going to be 17 C5. So Harry Potter book is, it takes one spot. So that's one fixed spot and 17 C5. Which is six one eight eight. Okay. Part B. In how many ways can five boys and three girls stand in a straight line if there are no restrictions? So if girls and boys are standing in a straight line, then the arrangement matters that who's first who's second who's third so that's the question on arrangements that is permutations so five boys six girls need to stand in a row unrestricted so that's five six seven eight people and eight spots available so that's just going to be eight factorial or eight p eight i'm writing eight factorial which is Four zero three two zero. If the boys stand next to each other, so if the boys are supposed to be standing together, so we will have to group them one, two, three, four, five. This makes one group. Let's consider this is just one person. And the arrangements are five factorial because these are five boys on five available stops. So this is going to be five factorial. We're going to consider this as one person. And then we have three girls. So one, two, three. So this in total would be four factorial arrangements, four people on four spots and times five factorial. which is Okay. Question five. The menu for a meal in a restaurant is given in the diagram. How many different three course meals are there? Okay. So we have three uh, possibilities for starters. One, two, three, four, five. Five possibilities of main course and three possibilities of dessert. So if we use basic counting principle, then starters can be selected in three ways. Uh, 
main course can be selected in five ways and desserts can be selected in three ways. So the total number of meals that can be ordered would be three times five times three. But there's something else mentioned over here. It says that the main course are served with salad and either potatoes, new potatoes or french fries. So with the main course, we have two options. Either order potato, new potatoes or french fries. So that means there are two ways of ordering chicken. One with new potatoes and one with uh, french fries. Then there are two ways of ordering a steak with french fries or new potatoes, two ways of ordering lamb, two ways of ordering vegetable curry, and two ways of ordering fish. So that means this is going to be a total of 10 possibilities, depending on the side. Chicken ki two sides available in steak ke saath two sides available in. And then this was three. So the answer would be three times three, 10 times three, which is 900. So answer for A1 is three times 10 times three. So there are 900 ways of ordering a meal in this restaurant. For example, we uh, someone orders melon and then chicken with uh, new potatoes, chicken with new potatoes, and then a cheesecake. So that's one possibility of the total 900 possibilities of ordering food. But it's not 900, it's 90, my bad. In 90. Okay, part two. How many different choices are there if the customer may choose any two of the three courses? Okay, so now two courses are to be selected or chosen, not three courses. So two courses, so it could be starter and main course. So three ways of choosing starters and 10 ways of choosing main course or starters and dessert three ways of choosing starters three ways of choosing dessert or main course and um, dessert so that's going to be 10 ways of choosing main course and three ways of choosing dessert so 30 plus 9 plus 30 which is 69 Part B, in how many ways can a group of 14 people eating at a restaurant be divided between three tables seating five, five, and four? Okay. How many ways can a group of 14 people Eating at a restaurant be divided between three tables, seating five, a table per five seats, a or table per five seats, or a table per four seats. So, how many ways can these 14 people be made to sit? Okay. So, there are 14 people, and it's a five people either angle. It does not, the arrangement do not matter, the selection matters. Five looks select to re first, uh, five chairs pianically, fir five looks select to re next five chairs pianically, or baki looks select to re last uh, four chairs pianically. So, this is a question on selection, and that means we'll be using combination. So, 14 people are contending for the these five spots, so 14 C5. Okay, so five have been seated. So now we have nine people contending for this spot. So times nine C5. 
Now a total of 10 people have been seated. So four people are contending for these four. So times four C4. Two five double two five two. Question six. The word Argentina includes four consonants R, G, N, T, the non-vowel alphabets, and three vowels A, E, I. Find the number of different arrangements using all nine letters. Okay, so no restrictions in the first case. So arrange all nine letters in a row. So obviously the sequence in which the letter comes matter. A, R, and R, A are different. So this is a question on permutation plus it says arrangements. So it's a question on permutation. Okay, so let's uh, permutate one nine of nine letters on in nine spaces. So it's going to be nine p nine or nine factorial upon repetitions. Do we have repetitions here? Yes, I see two a's and anything else that repeats. N is there twice as well. So we divide it with the number of repetitions, 2 factorial and 2 factorial. That's 90720. Part 2. How many of these arrangements have a consonant at the beginning, then a vowel, then a consonant, and so on alternatively. Alternately, okay. So we have four consonants and three vowels. So consonant, 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 vowel, vowel, vowel. So how many of these arrangements have a consonant at the beginning? So we have uh, four consonants, four contenders for this spot. Then three consonants contend for this part, then two, then one. And similarly, we have three vowels, so three available for this part, then two available for this part, and one available for this part. So the answer is four times three times three times two times two times one times one. And divided by the number of uh, repetitions. So the black uh, values can be considered as 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So I'm writing 4 factorial. You can also write all of the product 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And also this makes 3 factorial. So 3 factorial divided by repetition. So 2 factorial and 2 factorial. There are two A's and then two N's. So this would give Okay, I seem to have made a mistake. Let me check. Oh. Hold on. Okay, let me write the vowels and consonants separately. So they're not four consonants. They're two Ns. So they're five consonants. And then they're not just three vowels. A is there twice, so they're four vowels. So this was supposed to be one, two, three, four, five consonants. So five, four, three, two, one, which is five factorial times 
there are four vowels of so four, three, two, one, which is four factorial, and divided by the number of repetitions, which is two factorial and two factorial. This gives seven twenty. Okay, next question. A football team consists of three players who play in a defense position, three players who play in a midfield position, and five players who play in a forward position. Three players are chosen to collect a gold medal for the team. Find how many ways this can be done if the captain, who is a midfield player, must be included. So, let me just rewind. Three players play in the defense position, three play in the midfield position, five who play in the forward position. Three players are to be chosen. So that's a question on combination to select a gold medal and the captain has to be selected. So one spot is taken by the captain and if the captain who is a midfield player must be included, we've included him. So skill, eight spot are together with one defense and one forward. So there were um, three defense player so that's going to be 3c1 and there were five forward players so 5c1 or you can also write one contender for the uh, captain spot three contenders for the um, defense spot and five contenders for the forward spot that will also give the same answer 15. If exactly one forward player must be included together with any two others. Okay. So one forward player has to be selected. So we have to give a spot to the forward player. And there are how many forward players? Five forward players. So there are five contenders for this one spot. And there are two spots left. Now in these two spots, you can have... Um, any of the defense player or any of the midfield player. One forward player. So forward player ho gaya. So now there are six players available for two spots. So six C2. So five times six C2. Seventy-five. Part B. Find how many different arrangements there are of the nine letters in the world gold medal if there are no restrictions on the order of the letters. Okay, so they're talking about arrangements, arrangements as permutations, no, and no restrictions. So nine letters, so nine factorial or nine P9 in the numerator. And then do we have repetitions? D is there twice. So divide by two factorial. And then L is also there twice. So divide by another two factorial. There are two Ds and two Ls. Part two. If the two letter D come first and the two letter L come last. Okay, so we need two Ds here. And then how many letters are in the middle? One, one, two, three, four, five. And two L's here. Okay. 
Okay. So this is going to be two spots available for 2Ds, 2 factorial times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots available for um, other five letters, 5 factorial, then another 2 factorial. But divide with repetitions. So the answer would just be 5 factorial. So 120. This represents two Ds. This represents two Ls. This represents five letters in between on five spots. And the denominator two represents the repetitive two Ds and repetitive two Ls. Next question. A staff car park at the school has 13 parking spaces in a row. There are nine cars to be parked. How many different arrangements are there for nine cars and leaving four empty spaces? Okay, so 13 parking spots and on nine cars. Are. So it's going to be, it's a question on arrangement as well. So it's going to be 13 cars, 13 spots are available for nine cars. So that's going to be bigger number at the top, 13. B nine. That is a big number. Two five nine four five nine two double zero. Part two. How many different arrangements are there? if four empty spaces are next to each other. Okay, so we're going to group the empty spaces. So let's call it E, 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 E. Four empty spaces, let's call it four factorial. The four factorial arrangement, so now we're going to group it together, four factorial. Consider it as one space only for now. And apart from this group, we have another nine spaces available. So that's a total of 10. So 10 factorial times 4 factorial. But these are repetitive cases. Empty spot, empty spot, empty spot, empty spot. That's considered as repetition. So divided by 4 factorial. So the answer is just 10 factorial. Okay, that's also a big number. 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, double zero. Part three. If the parking is random, find probability that there will not be four empty spaces next to each other. Okay. So part two may we found the number of arrangements when the empty spaces are next to each other. And in part uh, one, we found total Ar uh, arrangements. So we have total arrangements and we have the number of arrangements when the empty spaces are together. So that means when we subtract these, we get the number of arrangements when the empty spaces are not together. So that's going to be 2, 5, 9, 4, 5, 9, 2, double 0 minus when the empty spaces are together, which is Three six two double eight double zero. I hope I did not ignore a number. Okay, 
divided by, since it's probability, so in the denominator, you write the total, which is 25945920. This is supposed to give us 141 over 143. The diagram shows the seating plan for passengers in a minibus, which has 17 seats arranged in four rows. The back row has five seats and the other uh, three rows have two seats on each side. 11 passengers get on the minibus. How many possible seating arrangements are there for 11 passengers? Okay, so 11 passengers get on the bus and there are 17 seats. So that should be 17. P11 because the arrangements matter in this question. Plus, it says arrangements. That is. But I can answer this. That's a huge number. So. I've written 4.94 into 10 power 11. Part 2. How many possible seating arrangements are there if five particular people sit in the back row? So certain five people sit here. So that's five factorial arrangements. Five spots, five people. Times, now how many people do, people do we have left? There were 11 people. Who boarded the train? Uh, who boarded this uh, minibus? So it's now going to be 11 minus 5, which is 6. So 6 people are left. And how many spots are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 spots are, are available for 6 passengers. So times 12 C6. Five factorial times twelve. Oh, this was supposed to be P, not C. P. Which gives seven nine eight three three six double zero. Of the eleven passengers, five are married, a five are unmarried, and other six consist of three married couples. In how many ways can five of the 11 passengers on the bus be chosen if there must be two married couples and one other person who may or may not be? Okay, let me clear this and read the question. Of the 11 passengers, five are unmarried and six consist of three married couples, okay? So this is one married couple, that's another married couple, and that's another married couple. Okay. And apart from that, there are five unmarried people. If five unmarried or the rest of couples are married. Okay, so... Now, in how many ways five of the passengers on the bus can be chosen? So, out of these 11, five are to be chosen. So, let's make space for five. Okay. It says chosen, that means it's a question on combination. 
if there must be two married couples. So either two married couples are for example, maybe a green wala aja couple or red wala couple aja. So they need to come together as a pair. Okay. So now we have three pairs available and we can set two spots available. This spot is for one of the pairs. This spot is one for one of the pairs. So we can say this would be three pairs available or two spots available. So 3C2 times now in the last spot these five have to be cont the contenders plus any two of the unmarried people, unmarried couple plus the unmarried couple that wasn't chosen earlier. So that's a Total of seven people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven people contending for this one spot. So times seven C1. So three C2 times seven C1. Which is 21. Okay, one more question. Question 10. Six men and three women are standing in supermarket queue. How many possible arrangements are there if there are no restrictions? So, queue here, so arrangement here, or plus it says arrangement. So, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine P9 or nine factorial is the first answer. It's three six two eight eight zero. Okay. Part two is how many possible arrangements are there if no two of the women are standing next to each other? So women cannot be standing together. So there are six men, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's that's six factorial times. The women cannot stand together. So a woman can be here or here or here or here or here or here or here. So women should have women should have men around them. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots available for how many women? Three women. So six factorial times seven P3. Which is one five one two double zero. Last part three people in the queue are chosen to take part in a customer service. Chosen means now combination. How many different choices are possible if at least one woman must be included? So include one woman and two men. Or include two women and one man, or include three women because it says that at least one woman needs to be included. Okay, let's check the three women case. So that's going to be three women taking up three spots. So three C three. Okay. Two women and men is going man is going to be three women contending for two spots, 3C2 times uh, six men contending for one spot, so times uh, 6C1. Okay, next is one woman. So we had three women contending for this one spot and then we had six men contending for these two spots. So find the sum and product of this final statement and that should be your answer. Three C three plus three C two times six C one plus three C one times six C two that's equals to sixty four. 
So the final answer would be 64. All right, that's all from my end. I'll see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. Love is.